When an electron is placed in an electric field, it will accelerate under a force given by the electron's charge times the electric field. Since the electron's charge is negative, this force points opposite of the field. But electrons in a metal conductor don't just fly away forever. They eventually collide with the atoms that make up the metal. Because each atom is much more massive than the electron, the electron bounces off at a random angle with a particular speed, which means it has to start over with its acceleration. Basically, the electron is like a car that accelerates between many, many stop signs. We call this process scattering, since the electrons in a wire are trying to move forward but end up getting scattered all over the place. The more dense the metal is, the shorter the amount of time the electron will travel between collisions. The less dense the metal is, the longer the amount of time the electron will travel between collisions. We call this average amount of time the scattering time, which is a number unique to every kind of metal. In this code, we set up an electric field pointing to the right. We also set the electron's reset speed and the metal's scattering time. Then we create a single electron, which will start out with a velocity of the given speed and a randomized direction. In this loop, we animate the electron's forward motion. In each animation frame, we flip a coin to determine whether the electron experiences a collision. The greater the scattering time, the lower the probability that the electron will experience a collision. If the electron does experience a collision, then we reset its velocity to the original speed and another random direction. However, if the electron does not experience a collision, then it accelerates under the influence of the electric field. Either way, the electron will move forward one step according to its velocity. Notice that we are not showing the atoms of the metal on the screen. We're simply representing them as a probability that the electron will run into an atom. The animation shows the electron randomly moving in three-dimensional space. In between collisions, it accelerates to the left under the influence of the electric field. If we increase the scattering time, the electron moves much farther between collisions. If we increase the strength of the electric field, the electron accelerates more between collisions, but it still resets its speed every time it strikes an atom. We can also graph the electron's average velocity to quantify this behavior. When we increase the electric field or the scattering time, the electron's average velocity becomes faster. You have now learned how to model the motion of an electron inside of a metal. Follow the link in the description below to find a set of activities that will help you learn more about electron scattering.